Let's look at how we can solve some problems with the Pythagorean relationship. So remember back to the Pythagorean relationship, and if you forgot, he basically said this. Whenever you have a right triangle, that is a triangle with a 90 degree angle in it, then the two short sides, when you square the two short sides, so if I take that side and I take that side, if I square them and add them together, it'll always equal the length of the hypotenuse squared. So that's just a good rule to remember. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Clear which side A and B are as long as your hypotenuse, the long side is, is what we, we're going to call C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if you happen to know two sides of a right triangle, you can always find the third side using this relationship. Super huge in terms of a math skill. We use the Pythagorean relationship all the time. So we need to get good at it. Let's practice this. So in this question here, I know the two short sides and I'm asked to find the hypotenuse. So A squared, that's 6 squared, plus, actually, you know what we should get used to doing? We should get used to just writing down the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I'm going to say that this side is A, this side is B, and my hypotenuse is C, the big, the long side. So this would be 6 squared plus 5 squared equals, and I'm calling this X, so X squared. So 6 squared, we know that 6 squared is 6 times 6, not 6 times 2. 6 times 6, which is 36. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25, equals x squared. Now 36 plus 25, if we add that together, that's 61, equals x squared. And now, so now we have the area of the square on the hypotenuse, so to get x, we need to square root both sides. The square root of 61, well I know that the square root of 64 is 8, so this is going to be a little bit less than 8, but let's be accurate and let's go to the calculator and figure out what is the square root of 61. So 7.8. So the length of the hypotenuse, the missing side, is, that's kind of messy, 7.8 eight units. So that's how we can find the hypotenuse when we know the two short sides. We'll square them and add them together and then take the square root. Now here's another triangle. In this case I happen to know the hypotenuse. I know the hypotenuse is 11 and I know one of the legs is 6 and I'm asked to find one of the other short sides, one of the other legs. So I'm going to start by writing down Pythagoras' relationship. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to call this side a and this side b and my hypotenuse I must call c. So the longest side must be c. So this would be my a is x, so x squared plus my b is 6, so 6 squared equals c which is 11 squared. So x squared plus 6 squared equals 11 squared. Now 6 squared is 36. 11 squared, 11 times 11 is 121. So at this point here I'm trying to find out what x is. I have x squared plus 36 equals 121. So I don't want this plus 36 here so I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. Gone. So on my left side of my equation, because I've taken the 36 away, now this is gone. And on the right side, I have 121 minus 36, which is 85. And now I'm at the point where I'm ready to square root both sides, because I have x squared equals, and I want to find out what x is. So the opposite of squaring is square rooting. And the square root of 85, well, I know the square root of 81 is 9. So this is going to be a little bit more than 9. Well, let's go to the calculator to find out. So the square root, whoops, the square root of 85 is 9.2. So x would be 9.2.
Let's look at another example. Here again, I'm going to find a short side. So we know Pythagoras relationship now, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to call this short side a, I'm going to call this short side b, and the hypotenuse, the long side, I must call c. So putting the three lengths of the sides into the equation, actually let's make some units on here, let's call these centimeters. So uh, a is x, so that's x squared plus b is 4, 4 squared equals c is 10, 10 squared. Now I can work out the numbers, so 4 times 4, that's 16, and 10 times 10, that's 100. I'm trying to isolate x squared, so I don't want this plus 16 here. I'm going to take it away so it's gone. i got to take away 16 on the right side, though, too, because this is an equation. So now on the left side, I just have x squared, x squared equals 100 take away 16, which is 84. But we keep getting these numbers around 80. So okay. Now I'm going to square root both sides, so that cancels out the squared, and the square root of 84, it's almost the same answer as last time, 9.2 9 point, 9 if we round that, we'd round that up. And then when these questions have um, units, we want to make sure we put centimeters in, because these are centimeters for the unit, because we're finding length of a side. Let's look at one more example. Let's say you have been asked to run from point A down here to point B. This is, let's say, the school field. And your coach wants you to run down this end of the field and over this end of the field to get to point B. And let's just say that this length of the field is um, 60 meters. And we'll say that this longer side here is... 85 meters. But let's say that Bob, Bob's a bit of a lazy guy, so he just runs diagonally, didn't do what the coach asked. He, he runs diagonally across the field from A to B. So let's see how much shorter it would take Bob to run from A to B than if he had done what he was told and ran, a, ran this way and then ran this way along the edge. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find out what the hypotenuse is here. We're going to have to find this. Let's call that x. So start by writing down Pythagoras' theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to call this a, I'm going to call this b, and the hypotenuse must be c. So 60 squared plus 85 squared equals x squared. So 60 times 60, that's 3,600, plus 85 times 85, which I'm going to get some help with. 85 times 85, 7,225 equals x squared. And now I need to add these two together, because I'm trying to figure out what x squared is. So that plus 3600 is 10,825 equals x squared. And now what I need to do is take the square root of both sides so that I can find out what x is. And when I take the square root of this, I get 100 and 4 meters. So I now know that Bob runs 104 meters and everyone else they would have had to run 60 plus 85 which is a total of 145 meters. So if everyone else runs 145 and Bob only ran 104, then Bob ran 41 meters less than what everyone else had to run. Um,
so that's how we can maybe use Pythagoras to help us in a word problem uh, to find the hypotenuse. And don't worry, everybody else who did what they were told, they got popsicles, and Bob, when he got over here, the coach was mad and made him run the whole way around. So in the end, he actually ran more than everybody else. That's just to make, make the story a feel-good story.